one of the questions I get asked all the time is, how do you make those videos? Whether it's from my professor friends who want to make educational videos as I have done, or from podcasters and people wanting to get involved in that realm and, and see what I've done there on ChristianLeadershipRadio.com. Uh, there's all these applications. And, and even actually most recently in our church plant, we put up regular sermon videos. And so there's all these tools that are available, but how do you piece them together? So what I wanted to do is in a very short video, just introduce you to some of those basic tools, where I get them and how I use them and how I have them set up on my system. And hopefully that'll help you get started yourself. Now, one key thing to remember, and I'll mention this at the end, is you can go to my site, www.morethancake.org, at the end of this, and be sure to check out, and I'll have links there to all the products that I mentioned in this video, so you can easily find them and get them if those are the ones you choose to use. So, let's get started. Let me show you where I work at. Okay, this is my office where I make most of the magic happen my desk, and there are my two computers. One is an office computer that I don't use a whole lot, but mostly I work on the Mac computer. And there you'll see I have uh, a recently purchased MacBook Pro. Uh, prior to this, most all of my other videos, matter of fact, all of my other videos are recorded on a 2008, I believe, might have been 2007 MacBook Pro and uh, that did not have an HD camera. So now that I'm seeing this new one with the HD FaceTime camera, man, I'm, I'm wishing I had that for all my other ones and the HD resolution is so amazing. But so I've got a new MacBook Pro, like I said. Uh, the other item you'll see there is my Yeti microphone. It's a Blue Yeti microphone and I'll, I'll give more details on that in a little bit. But those are the two big pieces. Of hardware and that's actually other than the camera and I'll show you that in a minute those are the two pieces of hardware that are most important one additional item that I do use in some of my videos is a nice green screen and you can see I purchased one that folds up very nicely and has a collapsible stand and I'll show you really quickly how I set that up so the stand doesn't take too long to set up and then I have a nice screen that You'll notice that there are two sides to this, two colors, a, a blue side and a green side. So it depends on what clothing I wear. I make sure that if I'm wearing green, I use the blue side. If I'm wearing something blue, I use the green side. And then I just hang that on the stand. And I can set that up behind me at the desk, or if I need to move into a different position, I will move wherever it takes. And there you have it. So let's get back to the hardware itself. As I mentioned, I've got a MacBook Pro. Uh, I think Macs offer the best and most powerful tools for video and audio editing. So I'm not going to get into that war. If you want a PC, uh, all of these tools that I use will work with it in terms of the hardware. Uh, but the software I use, which I'll bring up in a minute, you'll have to just kind of be on your own for that. But then you want to make sure you get a good microphone for all the audio recording. Well, this applies whether you're doing videos or just simple podcasting. And I prefer the Blue Yeti. It's got very simple controls. It's got a mute button in the front and it has its own nice stand. I've also used a, a boom, a swing arm for this in the past. Uh, whatever your setup allows for. And you can see that I've got my MacBook Pro on a stand. So when I do the video, it's got a good eye level for when it records my face and it also keeps the Blue Yeti microphone nice and close to my face so I get a good quality recording and I can minimize the amount of ambient noise that it picks up. And the nice part about this Yeti is that it plugs directly into my USB port so I don't need any other hardware to make this work. It records directly into my computer using my software that I have. And so whether that be uh, for video or audio, it just directly picks it up from the USB port. And that means I don't have to have mixing boards and other items that certainly people do use and you can find more complex systems out there. But for me, it's about simplicity and low cost. And this is the best setup that I've found. Now, before I get into the editing software that I use to make all this happen, I, I want to mention a, a new camera that I just got because we are using it for our church plant at Reunion Church, and it's a Q4 Zoom. And you can see here on my desk, the Q4 is very small, 
look compared to the size of my hand, but it does full HD recording. And that's where I recorded most of this video on where you saw uh, me film the MacBook Pro and, and my office area. So it does nice high quality. It's got a good fold out screen that I can uh, kind of see what's happening and I'll show you some nice features on that in a second. But it's only got two buttons, one to turn it on, which you see there below the green, and then that green button you press once and it starts to record, press again and it stops recording. So the simplicity, it's awesome, especially if you are doing something uh, simple like you know want a church plant and you just want a very basic setup. But notice when I turn it on and I start recording, I also see the audio levels that it shows me right on the screen. So this is great for sound guys that are trying to monitor that and they can make sure that the audio levels aren't getting too high. Now there's a couple options for audio recording. You can see if I pull this top part out, it's got a stereo recording built into it. Or what we use for our church, and this is why I got this camera, is I can plug directly in to that little red port from our soundboard. So we can record our full band or we could just record um, the whatever speakers through any microphones, but it's mixed through the soundboard and then inputted right into directly into this camera. So the audio quality is phenomenal. And if you want to check out any of the videos at uh, myreunionchurch.org, you can watch some of our sermon videos and hear that we're recording audio. Now, uh, it does have a fixed lens camera, so you can't zoom in or zoom out, but it is fully HD, so there are some limitations on video side. But again, if you got a good place to set it, it works out. Losing some of that functionality for video is made up for in what it's provided in audio. I've got full settings where I can control the audio levels on the side of this, whatever's coming in, whether it's a live room or through the soundboard, I can control that. And that makes for a very good recording, which I think is the most important part for most, uh, if your context is a church environment, that's, that's the, really the most important part. The best part, this item only costs $250 on Amazon and I'll have links for that in the blog post I put underneath this video and so for $250 I get HD video and high quality direct input recording or stereo if I use the built-in recorder and that's comparable to anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 for a basic HD camera that a lot of churches will use in that application so with that basic understanding of the hardware that I use Let's look at two pieces of software that you can choose from that make excellent production tools. First, if you're only interested in audio, so for a podcast or say you're recording lectures for students, the best tool out there is Audacity. And not only is it great because it has all the features you'd need, it's also a free tool available for Windows and Mac, which is very nice. So here's my copy opened. And what you'll notice here is the options. I can use my built-in mic, which of course I don't want to do because the audio is not as good. But because I have my Yeti microphone plugged in to the USB port, I can simply select that as my input, hit record, and there you can see my audio levels and I'm recording now live, what I'm also recording through my other piece of software that I use, which is called ScreenFlow. So let me switch over to ScreenFlow and show you a little bit about that tool. This is a piece of software that is for the Mac. It's created by a company called Telestream. And it is an amazingly powerful and very simple tool for about a hundred bucks. And here, let me just show you a couple of the recording options that ScreenFlow offers. You'll see here that I can record both my computer monitor. So it's recording my color LCD option. If I have my phone plugged in to the USB port, it can also do recordings of your cell phone or if you have an iPad, so it can record those actions as well. And I've produced a few videos you can see for uh, Southern California Seminary that show students how to access some of the online uh, mobile tools that we have. So it's great for recording that as well. Then I can also record uh, using the FaceTime camera, or if I have another camera plugged in, like the Zoom Q4, I could actually use that as an input device as well 
So you can see I can also control the video formatting, whether it's HD for a good YouTube video, or if you need something that's a really low bandwidth option, you can record in SD. And here again, I can select the microphone, whether it's the built-in microphone or my Yeti microphone. And of course, then I can also record the audio coming from the computer, which is then layered in a separate track. I can record multiple tracks for both audio and video, and then I can build in several tracks with text overlays, image overlays, anything you can imagine. So you can see here where I can drop in all of my files, and these tools allow me to edit the video, the audio, I can use callouts to point arrows at items, and you've seen many of these demonstrated in this very video. So this is a great piece of software that's about $100, well-priced, and an excellent tool that will make some awesome videos for whatever your purpose might be. So that's a basic summary of all the tools I use, both hardware and software, for the variety of applications from higher education to church ministry and also podcasting. I hope this is a great help to you, and you can utilize this for your own purposes in making some great video or audio recordings.